telly tonight is the MASH report, uh, BBC Two, 10 o'clock tonight. The presenter is Nish Kumar, as you've just seen him. Uh, so let's have a look at the series opener from last week. The realities of filming in social isolation mean that I'm in charge of my own hair and makeup, hence this. It also means I have to trim my own facial hair, which is why I no longer have facial hair. Basically, this was the state of my beard last week. I attempted to trim it, it went wrong, and I ended up having to shave the whole thing off. <laughs> well, we can go back to Nish now. And Nish, I'm pleased to see the facial hair is coming back. Yeah, it's yeah, it's it's making its way back. It's a relief. I, I haven't really been clean shaven for about a decade, and so I sort of forgot what my face looked like. And yeah. uh, I'm not happy to be reminded of it, to be completely honest with you. <laughs> Did you do that thing where you walked past the mirror and then we're like, "Who's that? Oh my goodness, it's me!" Because you look so different. Yeah, I was wondering why Leo Sayer had broken into my house. <laughs> I love it. So, uh, Nish, obviously, like me, you're making the show from home. We're all trying to do things differently. What's that been like doing telly at home? Well, listen, I was a big fan of the film Wayne's World when I was a kid, and I guess this is the closest I'll ever get to being Wayne from Wayne's World. I mean, I'm a little bit concerned of what my neighbours think of me because they saw a, a man cleaning camera equipment outside my house. And then I had to sort of bring it in. And I, I think they think that I'm up to something very weird in here, to be honest with you. <laughs> I know. I know what you mean. Uh, yeah. A curious neighbours love to know what's going on, don't they? But, um, you know, the MASH report, obviously, it, it, it's satire. It, it's taking a funny look at the news. The news at the moment, obviously, is really depressing. So how do you do that? How do you, you know, make it funny? Has it been harder because we're in this pandemic? Yeah, I mean, yes and no. I mean, on the one hand, everybody knows what's going on in the news, so you sort of don't have to explain as much to people because everybody's so hyper aware of what's happening. It is very strange to do a story, to, to only have one news story that dominates. I've never experienced anything like that in my life. And there have been times where we've all sort of gone, God, I really miss Brexit. I never thought <laughs> I'd say that, but I miss it so badly. I know, I, I caught myself saying that the other day as well and then thought, whoa, <laughs> this feels weird. Um, and what type of stuff then are you going to be doing on the show tonight without giving too much away? What kind of topics? Well, tonight we've got... Um, tonight, Rachel Paris is doing a, a guide to some of the world leaders, uh, particularly the female world leaders who are actually doing a really good job of handling the crisis and how that contrasts with some of the kind of strongman leaders, people like uh, Jair Bolsonaro in Brazil and Donald Trump, who are not making quite such a, uh, shall we say, successful fist of handling the crisis. Um, we've got a correspondence piece from uh, Ahir Shah uh, about misinformation and uh, fake news coming out of governments about coronavirus. And then we've got uh, news desk stuff, which is uh, lighter and takes a bit more of a, a sillier approach to it. So this, we're trying to sort of balance out the show with heavier stuff and sillier stuff. Yeah, and, and I, do you know what? People like to have a laugh as well, don't they? And just kind of, uh, you know, that kind of dark humour of just having a laugh about things going on as well. Um, talking of that, uh, you, you know, you've also been part of this programme, haven't you? Uh, it's called Comedy Against Living Miserably. Tell me what that's all about. Uh, that was actually a stand-up gig that we did um, last, I think, November or December. Um, and it's uh, the, the, the channel Davis got involved with uh, Calm, who uh, the Campaign Against Living Miserably, who do amazing work in, in terms of raising fundraising and sort of raising awareness about different mental health issues. And so they decided to put on a stand-up gig where comedians specifically were doing material about mental health issues and mental health concerns. And I think the sort of aim overall is just to normalise the conversation around mental health and just make people realise that everyone uh, ha struggles with their mental health and everybody has issues with it and there shouldn't be a stigma around having a conversation about it. And that was sort of the purpose of the gig. It, it, and it aired uh, this week and is available on the UK TV on, on demand player. It is pretty weird now to look at people sat that close to each other um, because obviously we yeah. filmed it last November, way before any of this stuff was happening. And uh, you sort yeah. of like, oh, I never, I never thought I'd miss uh, my knees touching a stranger's knees. 
<laughs> I know it's so true. The things you miss, it's so surreal. All those yeah. things you might have hated in the past, you now miss. Uh, Nish, I know you're going to stay with us, aren't you? And, and review, give us your top tips on some telly programmes that are coming up, because obviously lots of people are watching it. Fantastic. And the Match Report, of course, is on BBC Two at uh, 10 o'clock.